Welcome. Let's talk about the indications for an arterial line or arterial cannulation. Now, one of the first few indications is frequent ABGs. Now, if you're going to draw multiple ABGs in a day for a patient, then I think it may be better and safer as well for the patient and, and less painful to have an arterial line in place. Frequent ABGs is, is a rather um, vague term, but usually more than three to four a day it may warrant an arterial line uh, cannulation. The next thing is hemodynamic instability. If you have someone who's got labile blood pressure or someone who's on vasopressors, you may want to consider uh, an arterial line to make sure that you titrate the vasopressor use appropriately and you're not targeting a, a falsely high or falsely low pressure. And this can be a situation as well where if the uh, blood pressure cuff seems abnormally low, abnormally high and doesn't fit the, uh, the clinical setting, at that point you may need to have an arterial line to confirm that. The next one is a labile or even suspect uh, BP or oxygenation. So labile or suspect, that means you know that it doesn't fit the clinical picture like I mentioned earlier. Or you titrate the vasopressor a little bit down and the blood pressure plummets or you inc increase it slightly and the blood pressure rises way more than you expect it to. So a labile blood pressure oxygen levels, and these are the oxygen saturation uh, as uh, noted by the uh, pulse oximeter. And if you see it all over the place, you may need an ABG in addition to, uh, in addition to verification of their blood pressure. An arterial line uh, would be definitely indicated in those situations. So location-wise, uh, few locations you want to look at. The most common is radial, nexus femoral. Following that, you have the dorsalis pides. And uh, the last one, usually the one that's least likely to use, is the brachial artery cannulation. So those are the, some of the most uh, common uh, locations. The removal as well, uh, as much as it, there is an indication, you need to make sure that as soon as that indication is over, remove the arterial line. Uh, it is not a peripheral IV line. It's a, it is as, um, as invasive as a central line cannulation. So I urge you to, to remove the arterial line as soon as the indication is over. And uh, don't take for granted that just because it's an arterial line, it gives you the absolute uh, accurate uh, reading. You need to make sure as well uh, whether there's any uh, problems in terms of the waveform and so on and the setup in terms of whether it's being underdamped or overdamped, which will be covered under some of the key points of troubleshooting an arterial line. Thank you.